Everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Staten Island continues. Hey, we got a BMW 535, I think. Yep. With the 3 liter turbocharged engine. Customer complaint is well, the history is it didn't run at all. They replaced the fuel pump control module. Now it runs. However, when you really give it gas, it feels like it, it falls out, yeah, it falls and it loses power drastically. And we have to figure out what's going on. On the scanner, the codes that we had on the fuel pump control module were, I can show you on my phone. Again, this is kind of post diagnosis because time is always short. Those two codes right there. Control voltage, fuel pump control too low. Control current, fuel pump control lacking. All right. So we're in the fuel pump control module now. And on the scope, we have three channels. Channel one is the feed to the module. That's just the power feed. We want to make sure the module stays powered up. Then the purple and the brown wires go to our low pressure pump in the fuel tank. Now in the purple wire, that's the positive, and brown is the ground. So we want to make sure that we don't lose the feed to the pump when the pump is supposed to be running, when the car's on. We're also measuring the current with a current clamp. So right now, everything looks good. The current is about 10 amps, and both the blue and the green are high, you know, battery voltage. We can confirm that the current fuel pump is about 13 amps, so that matches our measurement. But now, when you rev up the car, weird things start to happen. Well, let's see what happens. Keep looking at the graph. So I'm gonna give it some blips. Uh-oh, look at that, fuel pump shut off. Low pressure pump is off. We get fuel system, drive moderately, fuel supply, full drive performance not available. And look, zero amps on the fuel pump, even though we're maintaining power to the module. Wow. Let's see if we set the fault codes. Read fault code. Same two codes came back. Control voltage, fuel pump control too low. Control current, fuel pump control lacking. So the problem is reproducible. All the symptoms match. And we confirmed that the feed to the pump is indeed missing and there's no current going to the pump. Okay, now the shop owner tells me that we can plug in another module from another BMW that's good, and this problem does not go away, so we're gonna try that. So here's the wiring diagram for our module. Not too many wires, which is good. Power supply, ground, some communication wires, a wake-up signal, and the power and ground for the fuel pump itself. So we were measuring on the violet, we saw that was dropping out, and the red-green stayed high. Okay, that's good. Now let's start it up. I moved channel three to this wake-up signal. I wanna see if the module, if it's a module problem or if it's a problem with the controls to the module. Okay. So it's off right now, and look, our wake-up signal, the green trace is actually high, so the wake-up signal is there. Let's shut the car off. Okay, power is switched off, key on. Okay, now the fuel pump came back on. Oh, then it switched off. And we have the little ding. 
Again, we can try resetting trouble codes. We can talk to this thing. Read fault code, still off. So now, I'm gonna plug in the other module, see what happens. All right, the spare module is plugged in. Let's see. Everything's off, power it on. Okay, fuel pump is on. Fuel pump is off, uh-oh. Not good. Fuel system, drive moderately, fuel pump is off. Okay. Read fault code, same thing. That is crazy. That blows our mind. And it's off. See that? Yeah. Yep, yep, the new, on the, with the new one, same thing. Now it's on. And you rev it up, and it's off. Okay, so now we're worried about a command problem. Is this module plug and play, or does it need to be coded? Did you program the module to this car? Mamoy, Rosh Mamoy. It is deal, my son. Valla. Po, po, po. No, it's there, Sean. He, oh. Did you try this uh, oh. re reprogram module to the car with a new one, or you just plug it in? No, we try, but you try. our computer if did it, I don't know. I'm not gonna. Okay, okay. So it's on the CAN network. It's a smart module. So we're gonna try to reset it to the factory like new okay. specifications and see see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Fuel pump reset control unit, reset, reset transport mode, reset assembly mode, special function, reset the production mode for the fuel pump control module. Let's see. Description of electronic control of the fuel pump. Perform reset for the production mode of the fuel pump control module. Let's read. Let's see one. DME control is a unit. Yep, calculate the volume of fuel. On the CAN bus, yes, the fuel pump control module uh, regulates the output in such a way that the electric fuel pump delivers exactly the volume of fuel required. Conventional systems, electric fuel pumps continue constantly. Okay, as of 07 2013, new electric fuel pump module alert installation mode. There is a service function in the diagnosis for removing the installation mode. Interesting. Okay. Control unit variants. Two control unit variants, direct current and rotary current. Direct current version electric fuel pump is driven by a direct current motor with permanent magnet. With the rotary current version, electric fuel pump is driven by a brushless three-phase motor with permanent magnet. Corresponding coding, it is possible to operate various fuel pumps with the re relevant variant of the control unit. The two control unit versions are distinguished visually by the color of their connectors. The direct current variant has a maroon connector, that's the one we have. The rotary current has a white connector. Fuel pump control module is continuously applied. Da, da, da. Not active requires only a very low standby current. Hmm. And this is really great information. Okay. Okay. So let's try see what is in here production mode can be reset with this function just said it's reset try actuation test fuel pump Let's see if we see anything in our scope 
Okay, so it's controlling it right now. And you can see the current is maybe four amps, so it's low current. What's that? Pitches? So we'll wait for it to time out. So we see that this shutoff of the fuel pump is intentional by the engine computer. It's asking the fuel pump module to shut it off. And then it's saying, hey, we don't have a good supply, something's wrong. If we look at our fuel pressure PIDs in the engine computer, it's saying the low pressure side is 98.6 PSI. How is that possible with the pump off? Well, it's on right now, but if we... See, so shut off. Our low pressure PID did not change, even though now we have the warning, fuel system drive moderately. That is, I think, very uh, indicative of the problem. However, the engine computer is not sent, uh, setting any fault codes for that fault. We just have some kind of radiator shutter missing. So, in this case, I'm going to call Keith and see what he wants me to do from here. We're very close to the problem. However, the strategy might be a little more complicated than, than we think.